All right, guys, we now have example number 4,317 of Donald Trump broadcasting that yet again, he's going to try to steal the election if he loses. Here's what he posted the other day. Cease and desist. I, together with many attorneys and legal scholars, am watching the sanctity of the 2024 presidential election very closely because I know better than most the rampant cheating and skullduggery that has taken place by the Democrats in the 2020 presidential election. It was a disgrace to our nation. Therefore, the 2024 election, where votes have just started being cast, will be under the closest professional scrutiny. And when I win, those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which will include long-term prison sentences, so that this depravity of justice does not happen again. We cannot let our country further devolve into a third world nation. And we won't. Please beware that this legal exposure extends to lawyers, political operatives, donors, illegal voters, and corrupt election officials. Those involved in unscrupulous behavior will be sought out, caught, and prosecuted at levels, unfortunately, never seen before in our country. You know it's bad when he's even saying it's unfortunate. This thing I'm going to do is very unfortunate. Notice he said, when I win. So in other words, if he loses, he's going to say he won. And we're going to be right back to where we were in 2020. Guys, there are 70 MAGA election-denying officials in positions of power to certify the election at the state level. They're already doing dozens and dozens of lawsuits over the election, trying to throw out ballots that they think lean more Democratic. We're already witnessing Stop the Steal 2.0. We're already witnessing them <clears throat> doing election interference and election fraud. He's just saying it. Again, I can't for the life of me fathom that Trump on a weekly basis comes out and broadcasts, I'm not going to accept it if I lose. And people don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. They just act like, yeah, this is normal. And if he loses, he'll go away. No, he won't. Now, thankfully, he's not president now, so he doesn't have his hands directly on the levers of power at the moment. But he can still do a lot of damage, just as a candidate. And because he's got these MAGA officials all over the country, and Lord knows how many MAGA judges, right? So this is uh, terrifying. Basically, he's admitting... Our attempt to uh, take the next election if we lose is already, it, it's already commenced. So I also have this to show you. Just to show you how uh, insane we've gotten in our politics. This is in Politico. Freedom Caucus leader endorses radical proposal for North Carolina to hand its electoral votes to Trump. Representative Andy Harris said the damage caused by Hurricane Helene in pro-Trump counties would justify the extraordinary maneuver. So let me be clear about what he's saying. He's going, wait, forget the election. Just give the electoral votes to Trump. Why? Because Hurricane Hel Helene hit some conservative areas. We know Trump's going to win those areas. Let's, before the fact, before the election even happens, let's just give those electoral votes to Trump. These are the people who spent years crying about election fraud and the Democrats allegedly stealing the election. And here he is like, we should steal the election for Trump because there was a hurricane. I can't, bro, I've told you guys a million times, there are some people that just don't have that thing in their brain that allows them to recognize their own hypocrisy. It doesn't exist. Guys like this think when we do it, it's okay. When they do it, it's wrong. It doesn't even occur to him that what he's saying is extremist and anti-small-d democratic and authoritarian. But here he is just casually saying it. How many people in the country, how many elected Republican officials, how many election officials think exactly like this? Like, I don't care what the facts are. We're just going to go with my guy because I want my guy to win. Holy fucking shit. And I still have one more for you. Look at this, guys. Arizona ballots damaged after USPS collection box set ablaze in Dem Leaning County. Arizona law enforcement officials are conducting an arson investigation after election ballots were damaged when a USPS mail collection box was burned in Maricopa County, a Democratic stronghold. ABC 15 reported that crews responded to the USPS Osborne station around 1.30 a.m. on Thursday and found a mail collective collection box on fire. Approximately 20 electoral ballots were damaged, along with additional miscellaneous mail. Phoenix Fire Department officials revealed, according to ABC 15, Phoenix Fire Department's Arson Investigation Task Force launched an investigation into the fire. Election officials said they did not yet have specifics about the incident. Quote, we are waiting for details from law enforcement, Maricopa County uh, recorder. Stephen Richer explained, we encourage all voters who used that mailbox in the last 36 hours to check their, the status of their ballot. Successful delivery is usually reflected on the website within 72 hours. Voters should be aware that tomorrow, October 25th, is the last day to request a replacement ballot. Oh, would you look at that? They did it right before the last day to request a replacement ballot. If a voter believes they were impacted by this incident, they can learn more about how to make the request. 
In 2020, President Joe Biden defeated Trump in Maricopa County by over two points. And also understand, we're talking about mail ballots. Mail ballots are, you know, the centerpiece of many right-wing election conspiracies. Now, the same time this story came out, I just saw it right before I came on air, this happened again. It happened, I believe, in Washington State. More mail-in ballots set on fire. Look, the shit that Trump's been going around saying and lying about for four years now, there are consequences to his rhetoric, especially since he has a cult that hangs on every word he says. And they are openly trying to steal the election as they ironically cry and whine and bitch and moan that the election is being stolen from them. You guys are trying to do the stealing. It's never been more clear. How many more examples like this are we going to see? We know what happened in 2020. Bro, Ken Paxton admitted it. The attorney general of Texas, he said, I waged over a dozen lawsuits and I won them and I got 700,000 mail-in ballots tossed. And he says, if it wasn't for what I did, Trump could have lost Texas. Admitting he stole Texas for Trump. Again, as they ironically cry that it's the Democrats who are stealing the election. They're not stealing the election. You guys are. And there's endless evidence for it. And not the fake bullshit evidence you guys get from a dumbass video or documentary, documentary, from Dinesh D'Souza called 2,000 Mules or whatever bullshit. This is real. Real as a heart attack. They're already doing it, guys. Buckle up. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.